Okay, so welcome guys uh, to the new video and in today's video we will cover about DevOps technologies like the tools used in DevOps tools. So in this new series we will complete all the DevOps tool and we will uh, it will be a short of 10-10 minutes introduction of that tool and you uh, at the last of this uh, series we will have a project directly from Upwork. So let's start with this tutorial. So in the last class we have cover, uh, covered the DevOps roadmap. So you could find the playlist link in the description. Right? DevOps roadmap. Okay. In, in DevOps roadmap we have discussed the tools used in DevOps. So first the tool was Linux. Okay, so what is Linux? So we know Windows, right? Microsoft created Windows. Most of you would be aware about Windows, Microsoft Windows, right? And for today, S 2024 Windows 10 or Windows 11 is out in 2023 and it's good enough right so I'm still using Windows 10 but Windows 11 is good as well okay so Windows 11 right so it is an operating system a simple operating system so understand okay so what is Linux we understood the my uh, Windows Windows is operating system. Now what is Linux? Linux is created by open source community or Linus Torvalds was the first creator of Linux. He is still present. Uh, there, are, there are many interviews about him. Uh, he have talked in many interviews and all and uh, we could find him on github and still now till this day there is a project of uh, linux on his repo right so he created linux linus torvalds now in today's in today's world there are different and different distributions of linux like centos like ubuntu lubuntu kali linux right Kali Linux is a one of the tool you must uh, if, if you are from a cyber security background you would be quite familiar with Kali Linux why because hackers use Kali Linux if you if you have gone through the movie of Mr. Robot so you could see the Kali Linux interface in that movie right okay so Ubuntu CentOS Lubuntu and Kali Linux and etc. There are many many others right but I am just uh, setting down a few okay so this is a operating system this is a lightweight operating system for windows we need more about RAM uh, more amount of uh, processor more amount of many things right but for Linux uh, we don't need much of a thing like it's it's, it's truly lightweight and it's quite convenient to use in productions right okay let's move forward hope you could get the idea of what is linux for now okay. companies prefer linux why rather than windows companies prefer linux why so so if uh, if we are working on a server so this is our server and operating system right this will be your operating system and if there are many applications which are taking so much amount of energy of this server so you need to have some of a lightweight operating system which would be powerful you need to have a lightweight operating system which would be powerful right and Linux so that task right linux would be a right choice for that other than that windows is owned by microsoft and 
Linux is free and open source. What do you mean by open source? It will be based on community. Community build it, community use it. Right? Its code is open. So if, if there is any issue in this operating system and if you are aware of that, just go on the repo and try to make a PI there. Right? In GitHub. Right? So you could change it according according to your needs. It, it is a lightweight and it's an open source software. So if you are working in a company, there would be no issue of buying operating system vendor. Right. If, if you are working in a company and you are using a Windows uh, uh, free version or something, there is a cracked version of Windows. So if you use that, there would be an issue. Right. But in a company, if you are using a Linux or Ubuntu mainly, it would be highly grateful, uh, hi highly useful, efficient and it would be free. Right. Hope, hope, uh, hope you could uh, hope you could get the idea. Okay, let's move forward. First, we have covered what is Linux. Second, we have covered uh, why companies use Linux. And let's understand more about Linux. So, Linux or if you are a DevOps engineer, if you want to work as a DevOps engineer, I would choose uh, Ubuntu distribution of Linux which is so the famous uh, distribution of Linux is Ubuntu. Why? Because Ubuntu is beginner friendly first. Second, it is a large community. So if you are stuck in any issue or in any, any error, you can go, go to its community page and you can ask question there. Right? Okay. And uh, as I told you, it's beginner friendly and the community, the two main reason for using Ubuntu. We have another version which would be useful, which is CentOS. So CentOS was, was in use, was in much use as a DevOps engineer. But in today's time, DevOps engineers also use Ubuntu because it's fast, easy, beginner friendly and community friendly as well. So CentOS would be uh, first start with if you want to learn Linux start with Ubuntu and then move to CentOS right. So it would be much useful. Okay so I think we have complete why and the what aspects of uh, Linux. Now we will more talk about there is three to four minutes left so let's talk about Ubuntu. Okay, so Ubuntu, you could install Ubuntu as main operating system, as dual operating system, like one for, uh, you could install Windows and Ubuntu as well. So this is a dual operating system and in virtual machine as well, virtual box, right? So in Ubuntu, there is a terminal and there is a UI. First go with UI, just understand what is going on. After that, start learning terminal. Simple commands like what is to sudo. Sudo would be super user do. So if you want to uh, work on anything, something. Uh, so you, if you want to force something or if you want to give permission as a king or as a leader or as an admin, you could use sudo. And for mostly sudo is used for installing packages. Next, we will talk about apt. What is apt? Apt is a package manager. So if you want to uh, install anything in Linux mostly, so you could use apt, right? Curl. So if you, uh, if you, if you want to go on github.com, github.com, Sajia Salat. This is my page of GitHub, right? If you want to download that, right? You could use curl. Okay. Now, uh, there are many other uh, commands like change directory, uh, path directory, and um, 
echo file systems just understand the file system of linux okay and uh, then the network system of linux like U udp tcp just understand that and you would be good to go with ubuntu right so and we will discuss more about ubuntu and linux servers and all in docker part i hope you got a clear idea what is ubuntu and if you want to learn more about ubuntu if you want a hands on uh, tutorial of ubuntu you could directly ping me on linkedin or just comment down in comment section and i will be up with new video of ubuntu hands on experience or if you want to learn ubuntu uh, if you want to learn complete devops from me ping me on linkedin it would be a month one month course right and you could get the complete idea and uh, you could be a job ready devops engineer i am sure about that right so if you want to learn so you could directly ping me on linkedin okay so it would be more of a live classes we, we would be interacting live and there would be a complete base and after live classes we will have recordings assignments quizzes everything right so ping me on linkedin okay so hope uh, you got the clear idea of what is linux and uh, in this 10 minute session i have tried my best to explain this thank you thank you so much for watching this video and let's meet in the next video till then bye